Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today, I'm going to show you how to create this interactive product slider animation in Figma. And the best part is, it's super easy to follow. So without further ado, let's get started. Here, I've already prepared the website content, including text copy, assets, and product images. These images were created using AI. I've also set up a basic structure for the website with backgrounds. There are three backgrounds, one gray, one blue, and one red. Each has a simple gradient fill with its respective color. This adds depth to the design without being too distracting. First, Copy the headphone images over here and arrange them horizontally like this. Now, apply a layer blur of 8 to each image. This creates a soft focus look, which we'll use to create depth and highlight the selected product. Then, select all the blurred images and duplicate them twice so you have a total of three layers. Group them and create a frame out of all three layers. Now place this new frame into the main layout frame and make sure to align the middle image exactly in the center. This is the image we want to highlight first. Select the gray headphone image. This will be our starting product. Resize it slightly larger to emphasize it as the focused item. Also, disable the blur effect on this one so it stands out clearly. Next, select the other images that are outside of the frame and set their opacity to zero. This creates a smooth fade-in effect when we transition between products later. Once that's ready, copy the product names and paste them here, arranging them like this. Duplicate the group two times, make a frame out of it, and enable clip content. Resize the frame to match the first heading. This will let us animate them sliding in and out later. Now, select all the product descriptions, place them in, and repeat the same process. Do the same for the product features text section 2 dot. This keeps everything organized and ready for animation later on. At this point, I recommend adding guides or ruler lines to mark the exact positions of each image and text block dot. This will help ensure perfect alignment across all slides, and it'll make transitions look much smoother. It's a small detail, but it makes a big difference in your final output. Now that the first screen is complete, we'll create the second one. Start by duplicating the entire first frame. Then, select the gray headphone image, Resize it back to its original size and reactivate the blur effect. Move the entire product image frame to the left. This simulates the sliding effect. Then select the right side image and increase its opacity to 100. Select the blue headphone, resize it larger like the gray one before, and disable the blur effect to bring it into focus. Now, switch the background. Hide the gray background layer and activate the blue one instead. Once your product images are ready, we'll update the text. Move the first heading up and bring in the second product's name to the center. Repeat the same process for the description and feature sections. Swap the old text with new content, keeping it aligned with the guides. Now let's create the third product frame. Now duplicate the second frame to create a third screen for the red headphone. Repeat all the same steps. Move the product images frame again to the left. Bring in the red headphone and make bigger size as previous screen. Change the background to red. Update all the text to match the third product. To add a slide in from the left, we'll duplicate these frames and reverse the direction. This means repositioning the product images to slide right to left, adjusting which product is in focus, and updating all the content accordingly. It's basically the same process, just mirrored, but this allows users to navigate both forward and backward.
Now all the design work is done. Time to animate the frames. First, select the first frame and go to the prototype tab dot. Add a starting flow point to the first frame. Then, connect the right side arrow to the second frame dot. Set the trigger to on click the animation to smart animate. Duration to 1200 milliseconds and curve to custom bezier. Adjust the curve to a smooth S shape like this. Now connect this arrow back to the first frame with the same settings. This allows two-way navigation. Repeat this process to connect all remaining frames in the sequence, both forward and backward. Once everything is connected, hit the play button in the top right corner of Figma to preview your prototype. That's how you create an interactive product image slider animation in Figma. It's a clean, interactive experience that feels modern and responsive, perfect for showcasing a product line or building out a UI carousel. If you have any questions or run into issues, feel free to leave a comment below. I'm happy to help. If this tutorial was helpful, please like, share, and subscribe. It really supports the channel and helps me make more content like this. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.